Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model items. So yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Uh, let's make, in a, make a new file and a new material. And let's load in, uh, let's go for the red apple this time. And then let's off reflectance, enable alpha, uh, make sampling none, and then copy this texture in and put in the alphas. So the alpha alphas it out, so now it's um, transparent. Okay, let's go ahead and add a plane like so and let's make sure we have the right size here so as you can see the resolution is 16 by 16 so let's go ahead and make the width segments and the height segments 16 by 16 and let's change this size to 100 which is the size of a block actually since it's items we can make it a little smaller so let's make it 50 so 50 by 50 and that's half a meter for an item. So yeah, now we can grab the texture in, and since we made it 16 by 16, when we make it editable, so press C on the plane and it'll become editable, and we go into polygon mode, we can see the polygons. You can see each pixel represent, uh, each polygon represents a pixel, like so. So now let's actually rotate this like so, so it makes it a little easier to work with. And let's enable quantizing, so modeling, Quantity size to 6.25, like so, and move this up like that. And let's also rotate it because the axis is in the wrong direction. So let's go ahead and enable uh, axis, what is it called? Enable axis, and then zero out the P. And now, yeah, now it's in the right position. Okay, so now let's go into BP UV edit, and like so. And oh, ignore this texture I already have loaded. So open texture and open the red apple we got, like so. So now we have the red apple. As you can see, the alpha channel just went off. So now it's not transparent anymore. So let's actually close this texture, close all textures. Uh, no, so it's going to remove that texture we made and let's actually open the golden apple Which is the same texture map as the red apple, but we still keep the texture the uh, alpha dial texture and Yeah, that okay now let's go ahead and click on this mode and now you can see all the UVs and stuff So as you can see each box represents a pixel so that proves to be a, a, a Issue when you're extruding so this is something I want to address in this tutorial So if I if I extrude this out when we when we finally extrude through the item you can see it's it's red it's like it's weird so if I render it sometimes it doesn't show so to fix this there's um, it's not a simple way of fixing it I, I know there are some scripts out there that people have made but I'm the old-fashioned way which is basically um, selecting each pixel <laughs> and just scaling it down a little Okay, so what I do is I select scale mode and I click snapping and I change this to 20% and I 20% uh, scale and I enable it and now it'll allow me to snap each pixel like so and it's a little just you have to just click and drag and click and drag and until you get all <laughs> the, the polygons like so. Okay, so now I've done all the polygons, took a while, but I managed, and now you can see why I did it, so I'm going to explain why exactly this is useful. So now when I extrude the apple, you can see now we don't have those errors um, on the UU maps. Okay, so the reason why I didn't delete the excess polygons is because I can have the flexibility of making more um, objects using this one plane and we don't have to go ahead and UV map every single object we do. So we just have to do this once and then we can just copy and paste this out. So let me just show you an example. So, so if I click on this item and I want to copy and paste it, so Control C, Control V, we should get two of them now, like so. Or you can hit con hold Control and click out then it'll make another one as well. So let's do that. So now we have two objects here. We can name the first one we had um, item model, model, there we go. And we can use this as a template. So now let's disable this and we can just use this, this one over here to model our apple. And then if you copy and paste this item model like so, and then we can have two of them and we can just click and drag our another texture like so. And then we can model a arrow with it, and it'll still have the extrusion properties that we have on the other other objects. Okay, so make sure you have this item model saved, so you don't have to go back and UV map all the polygons over and over again for every item. So yeah, I suggest saving this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start making the apple. So let's name this apple. What apple? Okay, and now we can go ahead and delete the excess polygons. So we can either select the interior like so, which might it depends. It depends on. The objects so let's actually yeah just select the interior real 
quick. I am right. There we go. Perfect. And now we can hit select and invert. And now we can delete. And now it's going to create some excess points. So let's right click and optimize that. So now it gets rid of that. Okay, so now we now okay, so now we want to go ahead and extrude this. So we have to go into polygon mode, select everything. Uh, so that's select and select all, and then we want to hit MT, which is the extrude tool, and then we can set our offset to three point one to five, and that shall extrude it correctly. Oh, um, yeah. So make sure it's um, enable caps as well. So just undo that, enable caps, and press that okay so now as you can see it's all messed up right so now we have to fix that so what we do is we're going to well back into your bpu we edit and let's come there and now let's select all the polygons here okay so now we want to load in that golden apple we loaded in previously from the textures and then click on UV edit mode and now we want to click on UV commands over here and click on start interactive mapping and then click on stop interactive mapping right away. And as you can see, now we have the uh, Apple layout thingy, whatever you call it. And now what we need to do is go into transform and hit put scale to four and four. So X is four, Y is four and hit apply. So now we have it on the correct position. No, no, I mean correct size and UV map. And then we want to go to um, move and move snapping so snapping and then move and type 3.125 enable it and then move it down 3.125 uh, percent and now it's completely mapped correctly and now we have a perfectly modeled item so uh, i'm going to show you a different way of doing it real quick and show you why that way doesn't work properly so let's use that item model we made previously and let's uh, quick So now there's a different way of extruding this, so let's hit MT again. And so we enable caps and then we turn off preserved groups. And if we hit, uh, if we hit uh, 3.125, you can see it's already extruded. But the issue with that is if you go inside, you can see that it's created these excess polygons, which we don't want. And plus, if we try and subdivide it, this is what we'll go over later on in the tutorial series. Um, and we go here, you can see it's completely messed up. And yeah, and it's excess polygon. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now if I show you on the model we made, uh, you can see it's nicely uh, curved. And then in the future, I'm going to show you how you can um, make this look even better by just doing this and enable and there we go so now it's nicely smoothed out in the render it'll look way better than this but yeah that's why this way of modeling is a little bit better but it's all up to you uh, i know there are some scripts out there like weed line scripts that automatically extrude the items and stuff you can of course use that but i don't know how to do those things yet so yeah this is the best way of doing it for me anyway thank you for watching uh see you in the next tutorial and bye